In this video, I want to share with you the key points that I learned from reading this book, Think and Grow Rich. You're going to learn the key principles that when applied are really going to support you to get better results in your life. My name is Yvonne and welcome to my channel. This channel is all about personal growth and really leveling up to be the best version of ourselves. So if you haven't already, click on the subscribe button to join the community. The first step to success is having a burning desire. And so this burning desire really is the catalyst to taking action and seeing the results you want in your life. So you might ask yourself, well, how do I develop this burning desire? Well, there's five steps to it. So we're talking about money here. So let's be specific. The first thing you want to do is you want to be specific on the amount of money you want to acquire. Then you want to have the date, specific date of by when you want to acquire this money. Then you want to be very clear with what product or service you're going to provide in exchange for that amount. Then what you want to do is be very clear with the plan you have in how to achieve it. Finally, you want to read your statement twice a day and that's morning and evening because that's when our minds are more receptive. We are in a brainwave state that is a lot more receptive. It's actually called a theta brainwave state. Very interesting work uh, to understand how we can impress upon the subconscious mind. We want to say that statement with a lot of emotion and feeling and really see ourselves achieving this. And that is really going to develop that burning desire. The second success principle is faith. You know, I really enjoy the definition in the book of wisdom, the Bible on faith. In fact, it says faith is confidence on what is hoped for and assurance and what you cannot see. And that's found in Hebrews 11, one. And really, if you think about it, that's very powerful. That means that you're so confident and you're so sure of something that you're going to proceed and you're going to commit almost as if it's already done. You need to have faith that it's possible and that it's going to come true for you. The third success principle is auto suggestion. 95% of our emotions, behaviors, and actions are based on our subconscious mind. Auto suggestions really helps us to focus on what we want by really working with the subconscious mind. And this is done through affirmations. Affirmations are going to help us to reprogram that subconscious mind. And you know, this takes time. So a lot of people, when they do affirmations, they'll maybe do it uh, a few days and then they say, oh, this doesn't work. But if you stick to it, you're going to see results. Think about how long it took for you to develop the current habits that you have. Sometimes it takes decades, right? And so if you think that with just three days of affirmations, you're going to see a complete shift, it doesn't work that way. Does it take you three days to exercise to see a complete different shift in your physical body? Well, the same thing with our mind. Our mind, uh, the science of neuroplasticity shows that it is malleable. We can change it, but it's going to take commitment and dedication uh, and daily practice of affirmations. You know, the beauty of auto suggestion is shown in the reticular activating system, that part of our brain that really uh, allows us to uh, really deduct from all of the things that um, vie for our attention, really focus on what it is that we want. And so that's where auto suggestion comes in because it's almost like we're planting a seed and we're saying, no, 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 focus on this. A good example is when you're driving on the road and uh, you know you've been shopping for maybe a red car and you notice that red car everywhere in traffic in the parking lot in your neighborhood why is that it's not because everyone went out and bought a red car because you wanted one no it's because you focused on that 
And so that impressed in your mind that this is what you want. And so uh, through the reticular activating system, it just kind of puts everything else in the background and really brings out what it is that you want. You can use this for your benefit because what's going to happen is through the use of auto suggestion with affirmations, you're going to find these subtle shifts in what becomes available to you. You're going to start noticing the people uh, that have always been in your life uh, but they're actually going to come to the fore and you're going to start realizing how these relationships can uh, really support you in maybe a business venture or something else that you're looking for. You're going to notice that you're going to take different kinds of actions towards your goals and it's going to be really unique and special. So I'm really excited for you once you start introducing auto suggestion in the people, places and things that really begin to show up for you. The fourth success principle is specialized knowledge. You know, many people have said that knowledge is power, but I challenge you to really take a second look at that. Knowledge is not power if you're not using it. So what it is, is knowledge is potential power. It has the potential of really making a difference for you when you apply it. There's two types of knowledge. There's general knowledge and then there's specialized knowledge. You know, what you want to do is focus on the specialized knowledge to get you what you want in life. So for example, if you want to begin a drop shipping business, what you want to be able to do is understand the drop shipping process and get specialized knowledge in that area so that you can be successful. General knowledge is not going to serve you. It's really becoming a specialist in your craft that's going to make you succeed and excel. So what you want to do is decide what specialized knowledge you need, the purpose for it, and just begin to develop uh, in that specialized knowledge and get better and better. And you're going to see the results. The fifth success principle is imagination. You know, there's a famous quote by Albert Einstein. He says, imagination is everything. Imagination is the preview to life's coming attractions. I love that quote because it's very, very true. In fact, ideas come from imagination. There's two types of imagination. There's the synthetic, which is maybe there's existing products and services that are out in the market. And what you do is you take that existing product, for instance, and you make it better. You find areas uh, that there's gaps and you improve upon it. And you are able to do so with the imagination. A good example is Sarah Blakely. Women's shapewear has been available in the market for centuries. And yet she was able to take an existing concept build on that, see where there were areas uh, for improvement and created a billion dollar business for herself. The second type of imagination is creative imagination. These are very special. These are the intuitive hunches uh, that just come out of nowhere, right? And um, it's not something that was previously existing. A good example is Nikola Tesla with the AC-DC current and other technologies that we uh, benefit from even today, like wireless technology that wasn't available uh, that we know of in history. And so he was able to introduce these new concepts and uh, really our lives have changed for the better because of it. The sixth success principle is organized planning. So what you want to do is really get to it and create a plan for what it is that you want and how you're going to achieve it. Once you create that plan, you want to collaborate with other like-minded people to make tweaks and adjust that plan as things come up. It's kind of like a GPS, right? So you put in your GPS, the location you want to get to, and then while you're in your journey, things come up. You might have to veer off course a little bit because you need to go to a rest stop, right? Or uh, something comes up, the weather, or there's a detour on the road that you need to uh, make adjustments. But the beauty of a GPS is that it course corrects, right? So it's adjusting the plan consistently and you get to your destination. 
So don't get upset if you make a plan and things don't go exactly according to your plan. Think of your plan like a GPS where you have, you've got a goal. The goal is not going to change, but your plan does get modified, updated and adjusted as things come up. So you want to be flexible. The seventh success principle is decisions. We need to really conquer procrastination with our ability and skill set to make a decision. And when we make a decision, be very committed to it. And you know, the book of wisdom says, let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. A decision could easily be a no. And a lot of successful people attribute their success because they've said no more often to the things that are distracting to them. And so we want to be very clear with our decisions. In fact, uh, there was a study made to uh, several millionaires and they found out that those that are successful make decisions promptly because they're very, very clear with what it is that they want and anything that resonates with it, they're very aware and they're actually looking for it and they don't change their mind so easily because they're committed. They're committed to seeing it through. On the other hand, unsuccessful people, they really dilly dally when it comes to decision making. Oh, I don't know maybe tomorrow, someday, right? And so all of these excuses is essentially procrastination. What you want to do is make a decision with the spirit of faith. Faith, again, is that spiritual superpower that doesn't recognize fear and it doesn't recognize failure. Because when you have faith, it's as good as done. You already see it done. So that's what you want to do is combine your decision making with faith and that's really going to support you. Persistence is the eighth success principle. Persistence is important. It really is a mental faculty. It's a skill that once you're able to accomplish that, it's really going to serve you uh, with success because once you have a plan, and you've made a decision, now it's gonna take persistence against all odds and against all obstacles and challenges to really stick to it. And so there are so many examples of people that have failed time and time again, and yet uh, they were able to achieve certain success because of their persistence. The ninth success principle is a mastermind. A mastermind simply is two or more people that work together in the spirit of harmony. In fact, uh, there's a quote by Jim Rome that I really love here. He says, you are the average of the five people that you surround yourself with. So we need to ask ourselves, who do we surround ourselves with? Who are our friends and associates? Because that is really going to dictate the success or failure in our lives. So we want to make sure that uh, the ones that we surround ourselves with are like-minded and we want to ask ourselves, have the people that we surround ourselves with achieved what we want in life or are in the process of doing so? If not, what you may want to do is start identifying who those people are and then start spending more time with them. You want to surround yourself with people that can give you good advice and be good role models for you that you can emulate. The 10th success principle is sex transmutation. You know, when you are in love, do you notice that you've got so much more energy in life? You're just high on life and you're always just so happy because you've, you're just so passionate about this relationship and you're so excited about it that it just kind of permeates across all areas of your life. Somehow you're just floating to work and you can get projects done more easily and just everything is just so great and wonderful. It's almost like you're in an easy and flowy state when you're in love. But when you are heartbroken and you're going through a breakup or you are having issues with your relationship, isn't it just a completely different experience? You're so sad and depressed and it almost seems like nothing can make you feel better. You just don't want to talk to anyone and you're grumpy, you're sad, you're down, you're not productive and you're moping around. Your lack of energy 
and your friends and your family try to encourage you and support you and you don't want to hear it, you're down and out. The emotion of sex is one of the more powerful human emotions. It's a creative energy because if you think about it, creation and a new life is formed because of it. Here it's encouraged to view sex in a healthy, positive and balanced view between a man and a woman that are committed and in love because that is what's going to help harness that energy constructively and really funnel that emotion and energy in a really constructive and positive way. The 11th success principle is your subconscious mind. We talked about this a little bit in the onset that 95% of your behaviors, emotions, and actions stem from your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is like that fertile soil and your thoughts are like the seeds you plant in that fertile soil. And if you think about it, what makes a seed grow? Well, it's the sun, right? And the water, and that's what makes it grow. Well, in this case, faith, that committed, decision, that uh, perseverance that you can only get through faith is what's going to help nurture this seed and help it to grow. So your responsibility, our responsibility is to nurture the garden of our mind and pull out those pesky weeds that seem to always pop up. And those pesky weeds are negative thoughts or people, places, and things that tend to distract us from uh, what it is that we want. So you want to really make sure that you stay focused and you nurture your desires so that you can get the results that are possible for you. The 12th success principle is the brain and really understanding that the brain is a sending and receiving station for the impulses of thought. Think of a radio tower, how it has uh, an antenna and then it also has the ability to broadcast information. So in this case, the subconscious mind is that sending broadcasting information of what it is that you want. Your creative imagination is uh, like that antenna that picks things up in terms of uh, ideas or hunches. Uh, I don't know if you've ever uh, been in a situation where you're doing something that mundane like uh, cleaning or maybe taking a shower and then you have this idea and it just seems to come out of nowhere and that really is that creative imagination that just picked up an impulse of thought. The 13th principle of success is your sixth sense. The sixth sense is like your intuition and it's almost like that spiritual element where your mind and the spiritual really come together. In fact, it's thought that the intuition or that sixth sense is where we are able to communicate with the universal mind and our higher power. And so we receive that through hunches or just inclinations or that gut feeling where we feel like, you know what, I need to take this path and then come to find out um, it was right. And oftentimes when we ignore our sixth sense or our intuition, we realize, Oh, we should have listened uh, to our intuition uh, and that would have gotten us better results. So that is definitely something to develop and that develops with time through self-examination and meditation. Intuition is not something that we are uh, educated on. So it's something that we need to really take the time to develop and that's going to be a source of power for us to really get the results we want in life. So in conclusion, these principles, when you apply them, are really going to support you to get better results in your life. I've created a goal mastery program for those of you that are ready to stop procrastinating and ready to achieve your dreams and goals. And really ask yourself, what is it costing you not to achieve your goals? I've also created the Money Mastery Program that's going to up-level your financial blueprint by improving your relationship with money. We're going to go over key personal finance principles and core investment strategies. These courses are going to give you the tools to apply these principles in your life. Click on the link in the description box below to get started. And if you haven't already, click on the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe so you're notified on new videos. And I'll see you on the next one.